Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Meadow Grove. Uh, we're heading down to our three fields, so uh, 49, 50 and 51 and we're in the class today, we're on our Axiom. Uh, we actually need to, this is one of those mods which has the opening and closing door, there we go. Uh, there we are, close the door. And, uh, and we are going to be cutting the grass and the reason we're cutting the grass uh, is because we're about to do a load of silage on here. So plan today is to uh, get these three fields cut. And once we've done that, uh, we're looking to then get uh, get this all rowed up as well. So we'll see how we do for time-wise for that. Uh, but if we can uh, we can get this cut and rowed, then we'll be looking at uh, being in a great position. Okay, got that turned on. Got that. Lift that up, turn that on. Drop that down. And away we go. Uh, so we're going to go uh, counterclockwise around here first. This tractor, of course, is a little bit overkill for this job. Uh, it, I will have no trouble whatsoever doing this. We could actually upgrade our mowers with this. Uh, but yeah, if we can get these cut, and we should get these cut very fairly quickly, uh, what we will be in a position to do is get it rowed and, uh, and get it collected. Get it collected into our forage wagon. And, uh, and in that case, we will be able to then, uh, then hopefully get a decent amount off here. We don't have a full fertilization on this because unfortunately I missed this growing completely. Uh, but we should, we do at least have half of, uh, half of one. Now have I got this the right way around to not miss any tufts of grass in these corners? I think we're going to have to lift up anyway. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, and go into the corner. Makes it easier. And go front down, rear down, and away we go. Uh, so yeah, it's hopefully hopefully going to be a decent amount of grass off here. We had a decent amount off here last time. Uh, these three fields are actually fairly large. And uh, as I said before doing this, I would quite like to have... Uh, I'd quite like to have taken the hedges out of here and had this as uh, one big field. Uh, not possible on this map, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it is a very decent amount of land uh, that we have here for these three grass fields. Quite pleased that we got them and, uh, and found them at the price we found them, because it really has been a, a lifesaver. Right, back down. And down. This is well, one thing I do like about this uh, this mower setup is these are just wide enough to handle this. Uh, we don't have to worry too much uh, about things. To have the if we had a set of butterflies on here, uh, I think it would be a bit much for us. It would uh, cause a bit of an issue. But uh, this seems to cover things quite nicely. And cutting this way around. Missed a whole load along there. Uh, cutting this way round means that uh, we miss some on the inside, but we don't leave any tufts in the middle of our uh, of what we're doing. So it makes things easier from that point. If we do two headlands here, it also helps us to uh, to get this done. There we go. We try and disconnect a mower midway through that. Fortunately, you can't disconnect mowers if they're uh, if they're unfolded. Uh, the game really doesn't like that, so that's that's actually a godsend for hitting um, hitting the detach of a mower by mistake. Right. And this should then mean we just go up and down for the rest of these get this done pretty quickly uh, so this is this is the last ingredient we actually need for our cows for getting our cows done and uh, and, and fed with the mixed ration uh, which should hopefully up I think it ups the productivity if you can get the top level feed for an animal uh, in farm sim I have a feeling that it does up the overall productivity with something we can check right now 
So what I'm going to do is while we're turning around here, let's just have a quick look in here and look on the state of our cows. So the state of our cows at the moment, you can see uh, they've got no total mix ration, plenty of hay and silage, only at 79%. And that's despite everything else being top. So what you need to do is you do need to work towards that top level of feed in order to get the most out of uh, whichever animal it is. Um, so with cows, it's it's the mixed ration. Uh, they will uh, they will produce the best uh, they can. Um, I would actually I would be very tempted. Uh, I think it should be the other way around for cows in the game. I I kind of wish that grass uh, gave you uh, a better yield than um, just hay or silage. Uh, mixed ration, yeah, I think should give you the top. But yeah, I kind of wish grass was was a long second because you don't tend to um, you don't tend to to cut grass and then and feed it to the uh, to the cows. You tend to you know make hay or silage from it. Um, so I suppose actually it's a little bit more work. Well, maybe it's you know you, sometimes you come across an idea in farms and you go, ah, oh, you know, I think it should be that. And then you talk your way through it, you think about it, and you go, actually, that's more work to do it the other way. It makes sense the way they've done it. So, yeah, I completely reverse what I just said. I think I think they've got it the right way around. Because grass, doing grass for feed is so much less work, it's right that it should have the lowest, uh, lowest results for uh, productivity for your cows. There we go. That makes sense. <laughs> I knew I'd get there in the end. Right, lift both those up. I'm going to take our front one and just push that down to catch off these last couple of... There we go. Last couple of tufts. The little kicking around the field. Just pop around and clean those up. And then uh, lift that up. Now we need to switch over to our rear one, uh, turn it off, fold it in, because we can't get through this gateway this way. But we can switch back to our front one and cut our way into the field. Always a good idea to do that. Right, and that then gets us here. Switch back to our back one, unfold it. There we go. Turn it on. Drop them both down. I do like that you can go drop front and rear down at the same time. Always works out really nicely. And uh, look at this class. This class is just a beauty. Really is. Gives me an idea of, uh, of what to call this. covering most of this field I'm not I'm not too worried about losing a couple of little bits uh, for the most part it's quite cool I mean let's have a let's have a, so we must have an option for opening and closing oh right so that opens and close opens and closes the top roof that opens and closes the rear window so I'm using my joystick here so this is and that opens and closes the door it really seems to be that IC control has gone out of favour with uh, mod creators in FS19. Uh, and I think I know why. Um, while it's not something that, that this class tractor could do, certainly going for it. Well, A, it's easier because it's a, something that exists in the base game. But B, it's something that can get onto console. Uh, you can put this kind of IC control onto console. Um, you know, it's it's something that, that console has, and cons console uh, means you can add that kind of thing. Whereas traditionally, IC control in the game was something you couldn't have on console because it was that extra script. 
So uh, I like, I actually quite like it. The only issue that I have with this method of, uh, of doing uh, an IC control setup is that uh, it needs to be very carefully programmed when you've got a front loader on as well. Because you end up opening doors and windows and things with uh, when you're trying to lift up your front loader, which is uh, yeah not very helpful. Causes all sorts of problems. We have it on the um, we have it on the 340 that we have on this map as well. Uh, it causes all sorts of issues when I'm trying to use the front loader and I'm opening the, the front window or the rear window or you know. Whichever part, it just interferes with it, and uh, and we get the thing. Actually, we get the thing on that front loader with the raising and lowering of the uh, of the front implement. Because what happens with it? I'm going to cut this on the long edge. Uh, is that it? It just lifts and lowers that front bit. There we go into here. And this is the nice thing about using this class on this is it absolutely zips through this job. Really, really does. There we are. Turned around. And away we go again. So I'm hoping for a decent yield off here. As I was saying a minute ago, there's there's should be a decent amount of grass off here. It's not fully fertilised, and one of the first things we're going to do once we've uh, collected all of this up is we are going to go and fertilise the... Uh, we are going to come back here and fertilise this. There's a set of rollers, I think, that does fertilisation that we probably should get hold of. Would be really useful for doing the grass on here. Uh, we only have 1,300, of course. We are waiting for our crops to go. We are going to do some... Speaking of which, fertilizing we are gonna to have to do some fertilizing on those fields again as well at some point uh, although we'll probably take the sprayer to that this time because we did the solid fertilizer on it last time it won't take us very long to get our uh, to get our wind around these fields as it didn't last time either the long bit is this first bit, is getting this field, this field cut. Uh, but once we've done that, we're all good. There we go, last stretch in this, and then we need to go and do the little field. The little field won't take very long. What I'm going to do is, uh, is we're going to go and cut that, head up to the yard, and then I will bring our windrower back, and, uh, and we'll get those done. So, I will see you back here in a minute uh, with the windrower. All three fields are cut now, and uh, we're back down the field with our class windrower. Although, at the moment, you can't see it's a class because it's all in a deep green from uh, last time. We actually need to get, uh, we need to wash our stuff, really. I don't think we have a pressure washer at the moment. So probably need to get one of those purchased if we don't have enough money for it, of course, at the moment. Uh, once again, we're going to close this gate as we did last time. Let's get this closed. There we go. Uh, now, that I didn't mention earlier in the video is exactly why we're using uh, this class Axiom. Uh, why we're using the 840. Uh, and that is because we had uh, previously we've used the case on here. Uh, our case is perfectly capable of pulling all of this, this equipment. Uh, you know, it, it's no slouch in its horsepower. The thing is, it's currently set up for fertilizing. So as we want to fertilize this field here, uh, as we want to do um, solid fertilizer on here, although it doesn't matter so much that it's got the care wheels on for here, uh, it's when it, we come to do our main crop. When we come to do our soybeans, we need those care wheels on. Uh, and I didn't see much point seeing as this tractor wasn't being used. And, our, uh, and, and you know, when we had that set up on the case so that we wouldn't, wouldn't have to then go and change the wheels again straight off. Uh, you know, so there was no real reason uh, to go and change that and, uh, and not just use the class for it. Yes, the class has more horsepower, a lot more horsepower 
than we need for these jobs. Um, but, uh, you know, it was going spare uh, and it was uh, it was unused. Uh, whereas our, our uh, case very much uh, is waiting to be used for the next round of... Um, uh, next round of, uh, of fertilizing. So that's why we've got the uh, the class doing this job today. I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm loving the inside of this class. It's uh, it's a great mod. This. Uh, I think, I think you can get it through yes mods. Uh, either that or through um, mod hoster. Uh, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's a very decent, very nice mod. Uh, for use uh, actually in, in British maps I tend to, I tend to gravitate towards class uh, for use on British maps and John Deere for use on American maps uh, although I tend to also go a little bit New Holland heavy uh, on British maps as well as you saw with um, Marwa Manor that was a very heavy in New Holland setup for that uh, so uh, yeah, John Deere, John Deere is definitely my go-to for an American map. If I'm doing American stuff, I will I will go to a John Deere. All right, let's lift that, and then we can get these strips done. Again, we'll get these done pretty quickly. I'm not too worried about uh, overlapping with my headlands. I do two headlands because it just makes everything easier to turn around. Yeah, we did miss a small strip there, but it is a nice, it's not a very wide strip, so that's all good. And you can see where we've we've now caught this headland here. Not a huge problem. Uh, not a huge problem at all. We'll probably end up catching more of them before we finish this job. But, oh, and that's why we didn't actually lift our wind rear. Or, But there's, there's something that with the SciTech side panel that I find from time to time. It double clicks really easy or double presses really easily. Uh, you have to be really gentle with it in order to, to not end up uh, doing a double click and, and sort of then immediately re-lowering or, or re-lifting a piece of equipment you were trying to use. Or, or disconnecting a piece of kit and it, and it automatically immediately reconnecting it. So it's all a bit, yeah. There's, there's a lot of stuff around that that, uh, that, that possibly is just a, a minor bug, but it's it can be a little bit annoying when you go to switch to a new implement and then you find you're lowering your weight rather than your, your rear thing. Or, or, or you go to... Uh, right, we need to fold that up because we can't get through the gateway. Um... Or you go to yeah lift an implement and it uh, and it doesn't lift it. Instead, you end up lowered and and maybe you kick off fast farming. It's the other thing. So uh, yeah, there's a, a decent amount of stuff that uh, or a, or a bit that could do with a, maybe a bit of an improvement on this. Um, but I don't know if if you then make it less sensitive, if you then uh, make it so it doesn't do that. Um, do you then find that it's harder to click? So, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's it's one of those difficult questions. There's a Normally there's a trade-off in that kind of thing. Maybe they found that uh, make it needs to be as sensitive as it is uh, in order to actually register the key press. So again, we're, we're popping around this field. Uh, we're a lot wider than our mowers were, so we're, we're, we're zooming around this a bit quicker. Uh, I'm just looking at sort of what the uh, the repair status of all our stuff is. We got, we're about 60% on the wind rower, uh, and we are at 38%, 39% on our tractor. So neither of them are particularly horribly damaged. Uh, the wind rower might be slowing us down a little bit at this point. Um, <clears throat> but not so much so that I'm, I'm, you know, have a, a big concern about it. We can get around this and uh, and get this road up again. I think what we'll do is we will probably end uh, once we finish this field, and uh, and I'll go and do the little field separately. Picking up is uh, is what we're going to be doing next time on here. 
uh, and maybe even doing it within this game day. It is 20 past it, uh, 6 in the evening this game day. And uh, I don't know if... Uh, I don't really want to be picking up into the night, but the, the, the sun is... Actually, the sun is still fairly high in the sky, so we might be all right for a bit. And hopefully, we'll have enough off these two fields to... Um, to go and uh, cover our silage pit. So if we can cover our silage pit, then we're going to start. Uh, we'll start the fermenting progress uh, process, and then of course we will uh, we will be good with our cows. Right. So let's get this down here. Get these last few lines done. So this very much is silage preparation. This is, uh, you know, getting everything lined up, getting everything into position, so the next time we can just come along with that for a dragon and go right, bang, there we go. That is all collected up and done. And down again. Yeah, it's not. It is. It is chomping it through this very, very nicely. And there is a there is a decent amount of uh, of weight in these rows. There's you know they're they're fairly well peaked, so that's boding well. We had a pretty we had a pretty good amount last time we did silage, so I'm hoping that what we get this time is uh, is more. Uh, it won't fill the silo, uh, but it will mean that we can probably close off this first silo. Let's get that down and in. And we might have two more rows here. I don't know whether the width of this will stretch far enough. There we go. No, down. And away. Good. So careful about turning sharply with this. There we go. And yeah, and we still have this little patch at the top of the field. And I think uh, that's got it. Uh, so I will go and do again. I'll go and do the little field um, separately. Uh, so let's fold that up. Uh, but for now. Uh, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.